Good morning, and welcome back to France. Week seven, shitty day. Sorry, rainy day outside. Um, this didn't drain down over the weekend. For some reason, it's still getting a water supply, even though the taps aren't. It seems to, maybe it's just taking forever. I don't know. Anyway, I've cut off the drain pipe this morning. I have a bucket underneath it so I can quantify how much water is actually coming out. I need to get this out of here. The general opinion was leave well enough alone up here. Uh, don't bother ripping everything up because there's nothing broken. I just want to make sure, get this guy out, take up a few boards here, have a look at the beam from this side, the second beam, because there's two beams. And if that's okay, we'll close everything up. One issue here is this section of wall from here down is, is basically hanging out. So I, I can't, I just can't leave that because it's just sitting there. Now, the bit above it is fine. The way these are constructed are they're like a little red block that are cemented together and they kind of join into each other. And as long as they're joined at the ends, they seem to kind of support themselves. Now, you wouldn't obviously leave it like that, but there's no lintel over this or anything. So I could, in effect, just take out this part to here, repair this section here. The problem is th the blocks are very thin. So to put a timber frame, stud frame in here, it'll end up sticking out. I think regardless, it's coming in about, uh, it's coming in about 60 mil wall thickness, slightly less maybe. So to do a stud partition, put some plaster board on each side, you'd end up with nothing timber. So, you know, it wouldn't, there's nothing being supported up here. It's literally just the wall now. Worst case, take out from here to there. It's week seven. It's the 12th of December. Kitchen's arriving on the 18th. There's no uh, urgency to put the kitchen in straight away, but it'd be nice to have everything ready and cleared in there for when the kitchen arrives. The big issue here now is that I was hoping to come back from holidays over Christmas and do some work. So really I need somewhere to sleep, somewhere to cook because France, you know, there isn't takeaways on every corner. That, like, you know, on a Sunday, there's nowhere open. And on a Monday morning, it's all, you know, very different opening times to home. So I couldn't survive without some way of cooking for here for whatever. I'm going to be here on my own for a week, maybe. Maybe less. That's the urgency now is to get this ready so I can come back and stay here. At the moment, doesn't seem at all possible. It looks a million miles away. But I think as the electrician's back tomorrow, as he starts... Can you hear that water? <laughs> as he as he starts to uh, connect things, I can have a heater in that room and a heater in this room and get a bit of heat into the house. But that's the urgency. So today, I'm trying to get this drained and get it out eventually. I didn't work yesterday. And um, if we get this out, get the boards up, have a look, and then get back to plaster. Have a great day. I nearly forgot. It's about two hours later, I finally have this thing drained down. I had to cut off the hot out in order to release the kind of pressure in the vessel. The drip, it was kind of real slow. Once I took that off, I was getting really good pressure out of the tank, but it still took, I don't know how many buckets, the 160 liter tank. I was filling probably eight liters at a time. Anyway, too many. So the, the cold water in the bath is still running. I think the shut off valve in the kitchen isn't shutting, shutting off. Um, so I was getting a bit of water coming back through the hot because I had it hot open here. It was all a bit of a mess. But luckily I had bought a quarter inch stop for this. So I'm able to cut it off, isolate this. This is now gone, gone. So free to go home. Anyone looking for a water tank to south of the Moge? Otherwise it's just going to go to the dump and get recycled. So we have gone for... Uh, instant hot water heaters, two of them, one in the kitchen, a uh, small one in the kitchen and a bigger one here for the bathroom, which will be for the, for the shower, sink and the bath. So it gives you instant hot water, it doesn't heat the tank up, the reviews are really good on them. With these guys, you, you know, it's like a giant kettle, you got to heat it up, heat it up, heat it up, it doesn't stop here, it doesn't stop here, it heats up the whole thing. Uh, if you're only washing your hands, all this goes cold again, you've got to reheat it. If you're downstairs in the kitchen and if this was connected to downstairs, which it's not, 
uh, and you turn on the hot tap downstairs, all that cold water has to come down first. So you're using extra cubes of water every year, which you've been charged for. So having instant water right beside the source is uh, just makes a lot of sense. Even though electricity is expensive, you're using less water and you're only using what you use. So that you, there's no wastage in it. So that's what we're going for. I'll show you them when I'm installing them. So this is nice and clear now. So the wall came out pretty handy. So I think I'll just put a stud partition in there, turn the board sideways for rigidity, and that will do the job. Put in three uprights, just over, go overboard with it just to make it nice and secure. I'm going to take up some boards in here now. Uh, there's a bit of water in here now from, from emptying the buckets, but I'll take up a couple of boards across here, have a look at that joist and see what's going on. End of day one, week seven. I forget what day it is and what week it is. I hope it's week seven. Uh, this morning was quite slow. Had to take out that boiler. It took ages to drain down. This afternoon, was late start in the plastering. But I think it's turned out not too bad. Fireplace here has been filled out. It probably needs another little coat or another little bit in the middle. This is all going to be below the kitchen counter. So I may not even bother with that. Uh, so it's from it's from 600 up, 900 up, that we have to really be concerned about. There's going to be big units here, nothing here at the moment. So here has to be nice, fireplace, corner, end walls, but not so much down here. So uh, this wall, I, I did the first pass on this building, this out, packing this out. It's very slow, very tedious. You've got to use a small trial to get right in to the to the holes and, and push it right into the into the gaps. So tomorrow that'll get a second pass once it's dry. 
to bring it out again, and then probably a third pass to get it level with this, and then this is ready for a final coat. That went up rather quick compared to doing that, so uh, I, I did another bit the left side of the window over here. Uh, I can only go as far as, as here because I'm not sure if the electrician is finished putting conduit in here. If he is, I will pack that up, fill that in tomorrow, and try and hide that as best I can, and then I'll plaster that other side. So from here down to the kitchen window, is really kind of had a, at least a first pass on it. And that back wall is, is, is only a skim coat bar a section in the middle. Anyway, never go full plaster. I went full plaster today, so um, there's no going back now. My favorite jumper. My favorite jumper. What am I going to do? See you tomorrow.